Right, hi guys. Um, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use Usenet. Uh, basically, it, it gets you on P to P blocking. So during the day, BT actually slow down your P to P th by throttling it, um, limiting the amount of people you can connect to. Therefore, you get slow slow speeds. Um, the ones I'm getting at the moment aren't too bad because I'm at peak, I'm at uh, off peak time. So I mean, it's not, it's not too bad really, but um. I'm going to show you the difference in the speeds between these and the speeds between what happens if you use a Usenet provider. So first thing you want to do, you want to go under these websites. So you want to sign up for Giga News. That's probably the best thing you can do. Um, Giga News is it's it's probably the best. I mean, at the moment I'm trying the trial version of the Diamond one. You get 10 gigabytes of download, but normally we get unlimited for £17.49. Um, dollars sorry so it's not that much for three months then you're paying 34 but i was wanting to pay the get the platinum one for 24.99 um because you only need 20 connections especially if you're on fiber optic like i am so but at the moment i'm on the diamond one um but this is basically just to show you the speeds um and then later on if need be i'll make a tutorial on how to set everything up right now there's two websites you can use you can use browse nzbs this one here is quite good. Um, you would just choose. You click movies, 3D, Blu-ray, foreign, HD, standard, other. You browse, browse all, and then you could just search them in here. So, um, the only problem with this website I don't like is you can't download PC games. Uh, that sort of ruins the website for me. One of the main reasons I actually joined one of these types of website was for that reason. Um, so what you're really going to want to do is, I'm going to go to download this one, you want to go on this one, NZB, grab it, uh, you need to sign up, but once you've signed up, then you'll be alright, once you sign up, you, you get full, everything, it's it's free, so you don't even need to confirm your email address, so it's pretty pretty good that way. This bit here is the software that you need, and that will bring up this once you download, so if you've got Windows, you click Windows, Mac, you bought new Linux and more, but um, personally, I would just click the, the Windows installer. So you click that. It would take you this page here, which will download. And as you can see, because I'm in Chrome, my download will instantly come down in the bottom here. But normally, if you're on Firefox, it will come from a different window. Right, so that will download, and you will go through the installation. Um, you may have to restart your browser, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I can't remember if I did or not now, honestly. So, just exit out of this. So, that's what you would do. Once you install it um, and you double click on it from the icon there, you would get this here. And this is what you want. Um, I'll now show you how to download something. So, once you've, you've got to sign up to these, and then once you've got to sign up with these, you've got to put in um, part of the, the link once you search in. And you've got it and put it on this. No, so once you got all that sorted out, you're basically laughing. Um, you can donate, but I don't because I'm cheap. So on here, as you can see, this one actually says PC. So I'm not sure if it'll come up with all of them here. If I just yes, it will. I think. Yeah, no good. Right. Um. But if I was to go on PC games and I was to type in, I don't know, command, command and conquer, which they don't have. So let's see if I've typed it's spelled differently or something. Command, um, total commander version 2. Let's have a look. No command and conquer board. Oh, there we are. Command and conquer three red alert. But that's Mac, so that's no good to me, but I don't know why that came up like that anyhow. Anyway. But I mean there's loads that you can you can download. Um you can go on any. Uh, but if I was to show you a demonstration at the moment, what you want to go on is audio. So I don't know, say I wanted a song. I just click on there. It would well through like that but personally what I'll do is I'll just go on here so Michael Jackson thriller. 
this will give you like a demonstration of how fast the speeds are. So 133 megabytes. Um, now we take about a minute to two minutes, I would think. And so what I want to do is I want to download it like that. You want to go into this. What you then want to do is you want to hit add NZBT, choose file, pick it there, and as you can uh, say before I hit upload, just so you guys know, because I, I have tried this before, downloads complete, um, it's empty, um, incomplete is empty as well, just so you know really that I haven't like pre downloaded it and I'm lying. Um, upload. Right, this is it here, so the speeds are here, it's just on normal, 128 megabytes, and it should be done any second really, it's just a case of waiting for it to connect to the server, and once it's done that, it'll, uh, it should fly really, so, I don't even think it'll take very long though, honestly, they will be done, like instantly, so, um, moving, I don't know why it's, I don't know if it's taking a move to the right location or whatnot than it is to um, download it. So complete. There it is. And this should work. There we go. That's all the songs. So that's just to show you. Um what I'll do now is I'll delete that. I do watch you on the CD, but I think it's a bit of a waste to have it on my computer. It's just taking up room, really. Um, as you can see, the speeds have dropped like ridiculously. It's like pathetic. But um, that's just like a quick, uh, a quick look through, really. Um, if need be, I'll make a more proper tutorial. I'll just slap this together so you guys can see what the speeds are like. So, yeah.